Hey guys, I'm Kim with InStyle. I'm here with mentalist Oz Perlman, yeah. and today he is about to blow our minds. I'm here with a bunch of InStyle editors and Oz, and we're excited to have you. Thanks. So I'm pumped to be here. Before we kick this off, yep. I have a few questions for you. So I Fire think away. there's a lot of question about what the difference is between a mentalist and a psychic. Can you explain? So psychic is generally one of two things, right? Somebody who knows the future or talks to dead people. I don't really talk to dead people. I'm good with living people, <laughs> and knowing the future that's a weird thing. I don't claim to know the future. I'm good at reading people. So if you said to me right after a show, like, hey, flip a coin, heads or tails, I don't know what it is, but the moment you look at it, I can tell you what it is. Think of it as kind of a magician. I started as a magician and then I specialized in mentalism. It's a subset. If this whole table were all the magicians in the world, like a little circle chart, this like a little dime right over here would be the number of mentalists in the world. It's kind of like really? becoming a plastic surgeon or somebody who just specializes in heart valves and yeah, there's way fewer of us than there are magicians. And how did you first discover you had the gift of mentalism? So I don't think it's really a gift as much as a learned talent. Really? But it also involves if you're intuitive and if you're willing to take a lot of failure. So I would say it's kind of like a comedian. You go up on stage and you're probably not that funny at first. And then you slowly get funnier. So the same thing is with mentalism. A magician would say, hey, Asia, pick a card. She picks a card, I find it. Now what if suddenly I start saying to myself, based on what Asia's wearing and how she's acting, how she's smiling, she's gonna instantly go for maybe like a queen of diamonds and he would maybe go for the eight of spades, right? So I certainly start knowing how people will behave before they do stuff and I use less and less props. I can get on stage in front of 10,000 people with this, with nothing, wow. with a pad of paper because the show is me, it's not props. It's not like a magician. So have you ever read someone's mind and discovered something that you didn't want to know? Oh, all the time. <laughs> so I have a show, uh, it takes place on Friday nights here in Manhattan. It's at I Pick Theater in lower, like lower Manhattan. And uh, some people want, they want that edgy thing in it. Yeah. Uh, where they will think of something where they've been unfaithful or they did something bad and I will not reveal it. I mean, the show is wholesome, good humor. I'll look at them and I'll be like, I'm gonna tell only you what it is. And you should see the shock looks on people's faces when you know something. And then I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow wow. your cover. I'm wow. not gonna blow your cover. So wow. no, this isn't like, it's like hypnosis. Nobody can be hypnotized against their will. You will likely only do something when you're hypnotized that you would do after a few drinks, yeah. right? It just loosens you up. The same thing, I can't read your mind if you don't want it. Most people that want it, I get involved. And some people say, you're not gonna pull this off on me. Part of my job is building rapport, breaking down the barriers, making them comfortable with me, and then I can start reading their mind. I see. Yeah. All right, well, you're gonna do that for us today, yeah? Why not? Let's get started. Let's do it. Look at you this. Look at props. everybody over here. Rock and roll. Uh, I don't think we've, we, when we came in, I just want to preface this because everybody watching is always going to say the same thing. We set all this up. You told me everything in advance. I want to make sure you all walked in here and before that, I had not met any of you before, spoken to you about this, nothing. In fact, I don't even think we had a chance to meet properly. What's your name? Joan. Joan, is it J-O-A-N? Yes. Like I'm a mind reader. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joan, do you have a favorite color? Yes. For real, you're kind of just saying it. Because you kind of did it and you like touched your hair is. at the same time. Like you're just like, I'll make him feel <laughs> good. It's my go-to favorite color. It's not pink, right? It is. Okay, so that wasn't mind reading. That was just obvious. That was a, <laughs> but I'm I, not wearing it. I know, I know you weren't, even though you like the <laughs> lavender. Pick a number between one and 100. You got it? Wait. And everyone do this. Just kind of stand up. I feel like it's weird when everyone's sitting down. Like let's get the energy oh, up a little okay. bit. There we go. Ooh. You have a number in mind? Yes. Okay. Kim, how long have you known Joan? Probably about a year. All right, Joan, look at me for a second. Seven seems too obvious. A lot of people pick pink, they go with seven, it seems lucky. I think she went higher. I'm gonna go with this. What do we think? I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna give you the marker. Was your number two digits? Yes. If not, I'm in deep trouble. Tell me, tell Reed, tell Asia, tell Kim, everybody, what are you thinking? What's that number right now in your head? 63. Tell her what I wrote. You're looking. Tell her, please, what did I write down? 63. 63. Oh, <laughs> so late, but how? I don't know which camera, that one, that one, that one. Okay, who else, who has, um, who has, you have your phone. Mm -hmm. Grab your phone out for a second. How many contacts do you think you have in there? 100. On the dot? Upwards of 100. Okay, she's like, she's like, I'm more popular than that, don't worry. <laughs> I want you to scroll through. Now, right now, where it lands, on the name, like when you turn it on, um, it's on a name at the top or somewhere that you don't even know where, random, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to go through, and I want you to start scrolling up and down, up and down, and seeking someone out, someone specific that you've got in your mind. Now, I don't know if you've spoken to this person recently. Have you talked to this person recently that you're thinking of, or not really? Uh, not really. Okay, bring it up. When, you, when you're at that person, like bring it close to you, and let me know when, and kind of hold it up so you don't think I can see. All right, it's a first and last name, right? Yes, it is. And 
I feel like you know this person, but again, you haven't spoken to him or her in a while. Watch me, him or her, look at me, it's a her, am I right? Yes, yeah, you I are. Tell, I could tell, uh, if it was a guy, you might have smiled more. <laughs> there would have been a little excitement. Uh, hold on, hold on, think of her first name. Okay. Now, Ruthie, your name, R-U-T-H-I-E, six letters. Mm -hmm. Asia, four letters, Reed, four letters, Kim, I assume three letters. Now, why did I say all that? Because you just looked at the phone, everyone if you're watching, <laughs> and she went, oh my God, how many letters are in her name? <laughs> and you counted it, and I watched your eyes. I okay. tried to get you to do that, and you went like this, da -da, da -da -da. five letters, is that right? No. Okay, the, the first name. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, five letters. I don't know. I'm just reading yes, your mind. Yes, you're right. Five if letters. If I got to write every time, it would be count. a magic show. Hold it I against your count. body tight. When do you think was the last time you called her? Or texted even? Three years ago. Wow. Okay. Two throwback, and a half years throwback ago. Throwback Thursday. Yeah, all right, hold on. Yeah, it's a real throwback Thursday. Five letters. Pick one of the letters. Don't say, okay. just look at them, mix them all up, and grab one out of the middle. Think of a letter. Do you have it? Do you speak Spanish? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I, like how, I like right over there, Joan is about to go poquito. Did you see that? <laughs> Uh, uh, R, you rolled your tongue, R, is it an R? No. Okay, is there an R in the name? In the first name? Not in the first name, no. Okay, question for you. Did you think of one person and then change to another? No. You had one person, somebody named Sarah. Does that make any sense? Were you thinking of somebody named Sarah? Well, it does make sense, yes. And then you, you thought of Sarah yes. and then you went to this other female. Yes. That's what I thought, I knew you had one person. See how she was shifting and then she switched? Go back to Sarah, locate Sarah in your phone. Okay. I did not tell you to pick that and I'm not trying to like guess a Sarah. Did you legit think of Sarah yes. as you were scrolling? Yes. See, it's kind of like a snapshot. If I took a picture of you right now, right? Alexa's in the background, same way the mind works. People think of something and it flies by and I pick it up. Think of Sarah's last name. Mm -hmm. She's a little closer to you. She's mm -hmm. got kind of a unique last name. Mm -hmm. And over there, question for you. Do you have any pets? Yes. How many do you have? One. Okay. You have pets now, or you had pets growing up, or you've had both? Growing up. Growing up. How many did you have growing up? Two. Okay, so you got two to choose from. Yeah, yeah. Focus on one of the pets. Uh -huh. Look at me. It sounds like a little bit Latin, am I right? There's like yes. a little flavor to it. Yeah, I like it, I like it. It's like, <laughs> rolls off the tongue. Close your eyes. I'm just gonna show everybody else. Keep your eyes closed. Mm. We're gonna show everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, open your eyes. This isn't something you ever wrote down, said to anyone, nothing. You literally just scrolled through and looked at names on your phone. That's correct. What's her last name? Cristobal. Cristobal. <laughs> <laughs> How many people's numbers do you think you know in your phone? Zero. Exactly. Isn't that right? Like I know my wife's number, my sister's I don't number, know like my that's it. She doesn't even know her fiance. She's like, mm -hmm. if I lose the phone, screw it. Yeah, I won't see him again. Off. So Wedding is off. Look at her number, this person. Okay. And obviously I'm not gonna reveal her name and number <laughs> to a million people on InStyle, start bombarding her. Look at the last maybe four digits. Okay. Okay, hold it against your body. Do you have your phone? I do. Okay, don't do anything with it. Okay. That's a sweet cover, look at this. Is it the plus? Yeah. Big one. Sweet yeah. photo. Sure. <laughs> Show off a little of Asia, there you go. Here, hold on. <laughs> think of her number, think of the first number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, is it a four? Yes. Yeah, you flinched. Uh, Alexa, I'm trying to think what I should have you think of. Imagine right now, Alexa, in style, what are we known for? Fashion, lifestyle, celebrities, all different things in pop culture. Imagine right up here above you on your left side is a bubble, a thought bubble, okay? With a male celebrity. Males alive, let's not, alive, okay? And on this side is like a thought bubble of a female celebrity. Can we do that? And that the reason I'm doing these two thought bubbles is because we're gonna connect them in the middle. Now I don't care if these people have Spouses don't have, this is a new celebrity couple that you are waiting to happen. Okay, like the Brangelina of today. It's meant to be, have you gotten, just to be clear, this isn't it. somebody who's really a couple, is it? Cause that's gonna be really boring. All right, four, four, think of the next number, it's bigger. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, blink on eight, four, eight, four, eight, three, eight. Is that her number? Yes. It's weird there's no applause cause this is insane. So I hope <laughs> you at home are freaking out slightly. You have, you have a bunch of pets. Yeah. Um, it's a dog, am I right? You look like a dog kind of guy. Dog. I don't strike me as a cat guy, <laughs> Not, no offense there, but like I feel like you're happy, you're smiling. Dog people think dog stuff. Um, you're wearing that shirt. Mm -hmm. It's like we're matching today. Yeah, look at that, we're twins. I feel like this is a cute dog. Like, a, not like a little ankle buddy. This was something bigger, think medium, large, yeah. think medium, medium sized dog. Something really, all right. Is this on your Facebook or Twitter? Is this anywhere available publicly? No, you're it's thinking not. of this dog, no? Can you tell us all, what type of breed, what kind of dog are we thinking of? Black Lab. I thought a Black Labrador. Crazy. I thought something That's like insane. chocolate, Black Lab. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you've got the two celebrities in mind. Got em. When she just did that, you thought, when I did this little thought bubble, 
I think you also thought of a female celebrity. I did. And uh, but not a couple necessarily. Question: Do you know this person that you're thinking of? It's a celebrity. Yes. Do you know her birthday? No. That'd be really weird, right? <laughs> like Kim, are you stalking her? See if you can Wikipedia or find out her birthday. Okay. And but do it like with the phone up, 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 up. Um, do it Asia, you have your phone. Yes. Let me grab it for a sec. Now, everyone when they type on their phones, they don't realize your fingers have oils. So you've been typing on a million times. Probably a lot of thumb oils. Do this. Go like. And 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 and. And just no, no, but use the phone. You don't oh. have to do it in your hand. Uh -huh. okay. And that was funny. <laughs> well, and like, make sure there's nothing on it. Okay. Just rub your shoulders off. All right. Do you usually do a thumbprint? She has, I'm getting close, four numbers. Do you do a thumbprint or do you do, uh, you type? I do both, it depends. Which one do you do more of? Probably type. Okay, hold out your finger. When did you get here? When we walked in the studio before that, you walked in the door, what would you say, like five minutes before? Yeah. Right, right. And, and were you texting on your phone or did you ever do your code in front of anybody here ever? No. Okay. Hold out your finger. And I'm gonna turn this around so the camera can see. I feel like your couple's good. I'm getting a good vibe on it this. Is. Wait, where could I go? There we go, that's a good <laughs> angle. Fan. Think of the first number. I won't mess up the nails. Okay. Think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Think of the next number. Now think which way you move. Because you either move up or down. No, I didn't feel anything. Right or left, diagonal, 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 diagonal. Okay. I felt that. Now, what do most people do for their code? New York City. People want to get in and out. You do something stupid. Three, 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 three. Or you do something memorable. I feel like this is memorable. There's something about this that you know of. Okay. It might be either about you or about somebody close to you. Don't tell me. Think of the third number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So you went up and you went up. Like, okay, okay, stay with me, stay with me. Her birthday, don't say anything. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You got tense, you relaxed, you got back. Right at July is when you live. I think it's June. Is she born in June? No. no? Okay, okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. This is somebody on your bucket list you would love, love, love to meet? Yes. It is, okay. This is a birthday, isn't it? No. Okay, does it have some sort of meaning like that? I typed in three numbers. It has a meaning. And I'm gonna turn this around so everybody can see. I typed in three numbers. Can you see, this is the moment when I hacked into <gasps> your brain. I just wanna, oh I just wanna my God. Them to see ya. I don't understand. You're gonna wanna change everything. Oh You're gonna wanna change everything very soon. Uh, <laughs> your person, think of the first letter of her name. Okay. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, is it an A? No. Okay, hold on. Did you, you know what, this happens a lot of the time. It's the same thing that you kind of did. You thought of somebody, you're going back and forth, you have one person you were considering, and you thought of her, and then you switched to another person. Am I right on this? No. There was never someone else. Somebody else that you'd love to sit down to dinner well, with yes, and hang out with. Well, yes, there would be, yes. There would be. Now, is it kind of like equal footing, or this one person, why the change in the two people? They're just completely different. They're completely different. Mm -hmm. But I'm intrigued by both of them. Okay, so I think one of them, I think, I think one of them, I think I got it. They're in two different fields, am I right? No. Okay, so yeah, I think you did one. Pop. Both pop culture. Um, who was the first person you thought of? And I think that the reason is because you changed, because you heard me say something about them and then you thought, no, it's too close. Who was the first person you were thinking of? Before, yeah, yeah, the yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no, yeah, like there's only one person you'd love to have dinner with, just the first. Like Lively. Okay, no, no, so, right, right, that was just now. <laughs> Right. She knew it. I'm she knew it. I, yeah, that was just now. Who did you think of first? Who are you deciding right Angelina before you? Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie was your first. <laughs> sure of that, and your your dog. Oh my god. I wonder I why you picked that. him and not the other one. I wonder why. I wonder why. You know what? Lie to me. Everybody's been super honest. Okay. Make up a fake name for this black lab. Okay. So if his name was Spot, don't say Spot. Okay. So right now, I'm gonna give you five seconds to be creative. Mm -hmm. And then when I say go, I want you to name a fake name. Don't do the name of your other dog instead. Some sure. other name that doesn't exist. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me a fake name. Billy. Billy. Great name. <laughs> Good dog name. Billy. Um, you probably change the first letter. Nobody says Billy if the dog's name is like Bosco. You don't want it to be the same first letter because you're nervous you might accidentally say the right name. You might be like, oh, crap, Bosco. So you probably changed it to something far off. And then you probably made it shorter or longer, so it was close. Think of if it was shorter or longer, okay. Good 
And I want you to close your eyes so you don't see in the monitor. I want to show okay. them. Something about this dog was kind of like funny but sad. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. He got hurt. Did he get hurt? Yes. And you were a young kid. It was kind of traumatic. Think about how old you were when you got this dog. This was still at home. You lived with your parents. Was this like mm -hmm. second grade, eight years old? Um, roughly, I guess. How I old do you think you were? Probably like in the vicinity of 10 -ish. No, Check later, you were exactly eight. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 tell us, what was this dog's name? You said Billy, but you switched it from yes. a more, what was it? His name was Tug. Open your eyes, Tug. That's crazy. And it was the back left, back left. His leg yeah, got broken, absolutely. he always had a limp ever mm -hmm. since, absolutely. but he was so cute. Absolutely. Completely. Make some That's noise, insane. the studio <laughs> is too silent. <laughs> it's too silent. That's awesome. Uh, what do we have time-wise? 10 we? minutes. Oh my God, 10 more minutes. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can go that long with you guys. There's not enough room in your brain. Your couple. See, I don't want to go to you because it's too strong. What I'm gonna do for you. I want to end bigger than that. Uh, that's, we're gonna end on that. Uh, wait. Who's known each other the longest in this room? Probably. Mm, yeah. yeah. Who's watching it in style? My wife, I think, is watching at work. I'm gonna get her in trouble. Are you there? No. Uh, who, who's known each other the longest? Kim and I. Okay. And introduce yourself to our viewers. I'm Brian. Brian with an eye. With an eye. I knew, I'm a mind reader. <laughs> I'm Kim with an eye. Brian, will you hold this bell? <laughs> yep. Kim with an eye. She's like, I don't like Kim's with wise. <laughs> Ring the bell. Good, good. Like dinner is served. I like that. Uh, no, do it face down, upside down. <laughs> Little. We gotta be polite. Fancy. Here's all you do. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys front and center. So let's get you kind of to the front, okay. if that's okay. Yeah. And you didn't get to really play yet, so we gotta get no. you in the mix. No, no, no. All right, Brian. Are you righty or lefty? I'm a righty. Obviously righty, because you use the bell in your right hand, so switch to the left hand. Okay. And um, here's what I want you to do. Kind of hold it out, and that's gonna be your method of indication. I'll ask you questions. The bell okay. is kind of gonna be your form of communication with us. Perfect. From this moment on, you're gonna close your eyes, and everybody around you in Asia, if you don't want to be just staring at his butt, come around this way. <laughs> you're, just, you're just like right here. Are you okay yeah, with there? Okay All right. With All right. It. <laughs> Brian's like, this is my best side. This is, yeah. I, I feel good about it. Look this way. Close your eyes. Now, Brian, let's test out the waters. Did you just feel me tap you on the shoulder? Yes. All right, give the bell a little ring. I love it. Now, do this. When you, ri when you rang, it was pretty good, but when you start ringing, you feel the bell ringing, like when I just rang it, did you feel me do that? Yep. Amplify the ring. So when I hit it, ring more. There, just like that. That's good. You don't have to do it for too long, but like, let's give it another try. Boom. Yeah, just like that. That's perfect. Now, all you're going to do is I'm going to ask you in a moment, you're going to keep your eyes closed. Can all of you see him? Everybody go, yeah. Yes. All right, Brian. It's gonna take like 10, 15, 20 seconds. Your eyes are closed. Uh, let's do it one more time just so you can. Yeah, he's got the technique down. I want you to remember everything you feel from this moment forward. Can everybody see him? Everybody say yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Brian, swear to our viewers at home, I didn't tell you what to do. We didn't set this up. You had no, no idea it was gonna go down. I have no idea. Okay, what's your going eyes on. are closed. You guys are watching him at home or wherever you're watching. No peeking. Remember everything you feel. His eyes are definitely closed. Brian, what I want you to do, no peeking. Asia, come around this way. Come around this way. I want you to see. Come around, everybody. I want you to come around. Just, just, just so you're, uh, you can't see anything. You got the worst view ever. All right, come around, come around, come around. He's not peeking. Okay, okay. Um, you guys are watching. What? Brian, tell me, <laughs> did you first feel me touch you on the nose and then on the chin? If so, say yes. Yes. And after the nose and chin, did you feel me poke you in the back? A little bit later, I poked you in the back. Is that right? Um, I don't think so. Okay, close enough. I, I Maybe you did. Open your eyes. Tell him how many times I touched him, everybody. Zero. How many times Zero. I touch him? Zero. That's freaky. <laughs> <laughs> did you feel him touching you? I felt like the bell, like somebody ringing the bell. Ring, that was you ringing the bell. I and mean, did anyone ever touch you? Did anyone ever no. touch him? No. Have a seat. Give him a hand. <laughs> Listen, if Reed Good job, Brian. and Brian ever get out of line, just have them ring a bell and slap one. The other will feel it. It's like literally perfect. That was insane. Alexa, choose anybody out there. You thought of two people that would be the perfect couple, right? Just one guy, one girl. You didn't change back and forth. You locked and loaded. Is that right? Swear to me that's the case. Swear. OK. Um, choose somebody here right now to help you out. Who's, gonna, who's it going to be? Ruthie. OK, Ruthie, I want you to stand up. Come on over and give Ruthie a hand, everybody, for helping out. Show her some love. Ruthie, I'm going to bring you. I'm trying to think where, where that me? we're on camera. Uh, is this, we're, we're going, this one? Yeah, there we go. That's going to be good. Ruthie, I want you to look right over.
You're getting married soon, congrats. Thank you. Can you swear on literally your marriage that I did not tell you anything about who she was picking? She never told you anything about this. There was no setup in event. You have no idea right now who she's thinking I can of. swear on my future marriage. You didn't tell this to anybody. I you didn't not. whisper this, there's no way. You just bubbles, you're picturing faces. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down these two people, their names. So up here, I, ladies first always. So write down, is this, just to make sure, doesn't matter to me what the couple is, but is the dynamics male, female on it this? It is. Okay, doesn't matter. So go with the female first, and then underneath, write down the guy's name. Now, what people are gonna say is that she must be able to, so my back is not the better view. I want you to be able to see for now. Yeah, I want you to see exactly what she does and what she does. Write down the names. I want you, when she does this, I'm mm -hmm. gonna give you a little tap here. Okay. It indicates eyes closed. You got it? That's when I close my Please. eyes. Please, okay. when I do this, and when I let go, you can open them. Okay. Now, it's a really quiet studio. You can hear a pin drop. So some of you are gonna think that you're gonna hear this noise, you can hear the marker. So when I take my finger and I touch you on the back of the head, mm -hmm. I want you to please take your fingers, I know it's a little uncouth, and plug them in your ears so you can't hear anything. Hear no evil, see no evil, Re we ready? Mm -hmm. Take this marker, I'll tell you when to do it, as big and clear as possible as you can. Okay, Ruthie, you're right there. Bring it up close to your body, Alexis, so nobody else can see, nobody can see. And can you guys kind of form a little bit of a block on her? Here we go, here we go. Oh, Make sure oh, she I can't see. Good. Here we go. I want you to close your eyes, please. And I want you to plug your ears. And you should hear a voice in your head. Tell me when she's done. Go. Yeah, keep writing. Tell me when you're all done. And tell me when you're done and say I'm done so I can let her open her eyes and her ears. Say when, say when. How are we doing over there? Can, not can done. She, can she open her ears? Unplug, unplug your ears. She's still oh. Open your eyes. I, did, oh, she's not done? Not done. Oh, 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 sorry. Okay. So tell me when. Tell me when. You can keep your eyes. And say when. How are we doing? Done. Wow, it's really long names. <laughs> open, 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 open. And don't turn it around. Don't turn around. Can everybody move out of the way so we can see? And do this. Tell her right now. If she popped that bubble, she popped that bubble, and you saw both their faces, mm -hmm. tell her who is this couple that's meant to be. Tell her, please. Reese Witherspoon and Hugh Jackman. Half. Tell us who. Show it, turn around. Oh. Close enough, oh. damn. You did it. Should have called him by his name. You did amazing, you did amazing. You can't, you can't like get it every time. You. No, you did amazing. <laughs> she got the Reese part. She did. I told Halfway. you, if I gotta write every time, it's to be a magic show. It is not, it is not. <laughs> She's my new opener. She got a pretty Woo! good job with it. That was that amazing. Everybody, I tried. No, I thought you were supposed to know. <sighs> I try to give other people the gift, right? Oh, Thank wow. you. That's incredible. Army, I feel like Hugh Jackman, he's already been in a long relationship. We shouldn't right. mess that up. It's true, true, it's true. It's true. Well, that's all the time we have for today. That was so amazing. I Thanks know so that much. everyone here is blown away. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for trial. having me. If you're in New York, come see my show. You gotta Absolutely. come see it. at iPick. It's Friday night. It's called Truth Be Told. I promise you, you will be a part of it. It's the most interactive experience of a show you've ever seen. Just like this, where all of you are involved, the show is about 150 people, incredible theater, it's like luxurious leather seats, great food, amazing drinks. The more you drink, the better my show gets. <laughs> if we had you Friday at 6 p.m., I feel this would've been even stronger. Yeah. Come back. Oh, it's Pearl, but Thank everyone. You. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. guys. Good job.